I'm Cassandra and I work with ThetaCare. I'm also a busy mom of three. Camden, no thanks. Hey, doing it all is more challenging than ever, and that includes making healthcare decisions. So, welcome to Health Inspired Talk, where we cut through the confusion, we chat with experts, and we help you get the care you need for you and your family. We're here at ThetaCare Medical Center, Shano, to learn more about the robotic surgery program and the positive outcomes it can provide for patients. So when you think of robots, you might think of something like this, but robotic surgery has progressed way beyond that. To get to know more about our robotic surgery program, we've invited two expert guests to go head to head in a quiz show. So let's get to know our players a little better. First, we have Dr. Cynthia Giacchera. She's a general and vascular surgeon with Surgical Associates of Nina. You're also the medical director of the ThetaCare Robotics Program. Dr. Giacchera, can you tell us a fun fact about yourself? Well, first of all, thanks for having me today. And fun fact, I'm a second generation general surgeon. I joined my father in practice and the two of us were the first uh, robotic surgeons in Wisconsin. Oh, that's incredible. All right, we also have Tara Swanson here. Tara is the Vice President of Perioperative Services for ThetaCare. Tara, what is your fun fact? Mine's very similar to her. Um, I am a third generation nurse in our family and thank you so much for having us today. Oh, lots of experience, lots of family history. We love that. Thank you both for being here with us. So we are going to get started. The first thing is a rapid fire round. We're going to ask you a question and then you're going to buzz in and whoever is first gets the points. The very first question is, at what locations and medical centers does ThetaCare do robotic surgery? Dr. Gio Karras. We do robotic surgery at the Nina campus, Appleton, Shano, and at Berlin. Wonderful, correct, for 200 points. Now for 100 bonus points, buzz in if you can tell us the other two locations where ThetaCare does robotic surgery. Oh, Tara's got this one. Orthopedic Spine and Pain Center and the Regional Cancer Center. Wonderful, correct answers. In this next round, we're going to read a description of one of our robotic systems, and then you have to answer if you can figure it out based on the description. So these are worth 100 points each. Our first robotic system we're talking about is the one where orthopedic surgeons use this for knee replacement surgeries. It was designed by surgeons for surgeons as an accurate and efficient surgical assistant that also produces data. Tara? What is Rosa? You are correct, wrong show, but still correct answer, so we're going to count that one. Next question, this platform provides a view of the inside of the lungs and allows medical teams to obtain a tissue sample for a biopsy. It can lead to earlier and more accurate diagnosis of small and hard to reach nodules in the lung. All right, Dr. Gio Karras. Monarch robot. Monarch is correct. All right, our next question here. This is a fully robotic device that delivers radiation throughout the body to treat several cancers and may be an alternative to surgery for patients who have inoperable or complex tumors. All right, Dr. Gio cares again. That would be CyberKnife. CyberKnife for 100 points, correct. Next question, ThetaCare partners with Neuroscience Group to offer this spine surgery to patients. The partners were some of the very first in the country to adopt this technology. Tara. That would be our Mazer. Mazer is correct for 100 points. Next one, ThetaCare has seven of these robots across four sites. We also offer two dual console versions of this. It allows two surgeons to work side by side on complex cases. Tara has it again. Da Vinci. Da Vinci is correct. Nice work, both of you. Those are some hard questions, good job. You've both done an amazing job so far. It's all tied up at 400 points each. So I'm going to ask for a little bit of help from our robotics coordinator, Megan Salentine, who's going to help us as we get ready for this final question. We have one more question and a final wager from both of you. So our question is, ThetaCare uses the Da Vinci surgical system for how many categories of procedures? All right, give you some time for your answers here. Okay. Tara, your answer. Okay, first off, you wagered 400, mm -hmm. so all your points, yep. and you say four, four categories. Mm -hmm. Dr. Gio Karras, you wagered 400 points, and you say five categories. Dr. Gio Karras, you are correct, so you are our winner. Okay, can you name the specialties? I can, uh, bariatric surgery, general surgery, 
gynecologic surgery, thoracic surgery, as well as urology. You are our winner today, Dr. Gio Karras. And for winning, we have a fancy gold star for you. All right. <laughs> Great job to both of you. You both did amazing. Thank you for talking through all of our robotic surgery program and the ins and outs. We really appreciate you helping us better understand the program. Thanks for having us today. Thank you so much and congratulations. We've had some fun exploring robotic surgery. Now it's time to take a deeper dive with Dr. Gio Karras. So first thing, let's start high level. What is robotic surgery? I think a lot of people might wonder, do robots actually do the surgery? That is a great question and probably the most common question I get from my patients. Are you actually doing my surgery? So the Da Vinci robot, which we have behind us, it really is a computer interface that allows the surgeon to do a laparoscopic or minimally invasive surgery with smaller instruments. The surgeon is actually controlling the instruments from a console that's in the room. And the instruments have a wrist that can move like your hand. So this is allowing us to do more uh, meticulous movements and dissections doing our procedures. So no ro robot doing the surgery? No robot doing the surgery. <laughs> okay, very, very good. Um, can you give us an example of some ways that you might use the Da Vinci system? So any case that we traditionally would do what's called laparoscopically or minimally invasive can be done on uh, the Da Vinci robot. For instance, a hernia surgery, removing part of your colon or taking your gallbladder out would be some examples of the ones I do most commonly. Okay, those are really good examples. I think some that, like you said, people get more often, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Theta Care has achieved some impressive results through our robotic surgery program. Can you just highlight some of those for us? We have had a great few years. Um, the general surgery department has really taken uh, all in approach to robotic surgery and converted most of our service lines to robotic. So the colorectal service line, which is removing part of your colon for colon cancer, uh, is 100% robotic in contrast to the rest of the country where it's only 50%. The other area where we've gone 100% robotic would be our bariatric or weight loss surgery. We've had incredible outcomes in both of those areas where we've been able to cut days off of the length of stay in the hospital. Wow, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about the important piece of this for patients in just a moment. So that's, I like how you're talking a little bit about that now, so it's very important for us. Um, so not only do we have experts in robotic surgery, you and other Theta Care surgeons actually train people from around the country. We are committed to education and teaching at Theta Care. Um, Surgical Associates of Nina has residents from University of Wisconsin, Madison come and they uh, learn their robotics from us. In addition to PA students from Marquette University, Dr. Georgian and myself uh, do what's called case observation sites where we bring in surgeons from around the country who are learning to uh, pick up this skill in robotic surgery. That's incredible. And I've sat in on some of those um, sessions where you have those surgeons coming in and it's really neat just to see how Theta Care is leading the way in that program. Absolutely. Um, we're definitely trying to elevate the level of care uh, throughout Wisconsin and uh, the rest of the United States. Really cool. So finally, let's talk about what this means for patients. Can you talk about some of the benefits of robotic surgery? You know, laparoscopic surgery has been around for a long time where we make small incisions and less pain and people have heard about that. So this is allowing us to do more surgeries, more complex surgeries laparoscopically. So you're going to have a smaller incision, less pain, quicker back to work and less time in the hospital. And so it's probably helping patients make that decision to get the surgery that they need because they won't be down for longer. Absolutely. Um, you know, nobody wants to take a month off of work. Um, when you're having a robotic surgery, the time off of work is usually more like a week or two weeks rather than four or six weeks with an open procedure. All right. Dr. Gio Kears, thanks so much for being with us. Really great insight to our robotic surgery program. Thank you so much for having me.
We're back with Tara Swanson. Tara, we're going to take a closer look at what patients can expect when they have surgery at ThetaCare. So can you tell us just a little bit about the experts who work with this technology? Absolutely. We have ThetaCare employed surgeons along with many independent provider groups that come and work with us on our robotic technology. Um, we're very lucky to have them that come together that put patients first uh, at ThetaCare and help the patient through their experience. Wonderful. We also offer a program that helps provide even better patient outcomes. That's the ThetaCare Surgery Optimization and Coordination Center. It's a long name, but it really means benefit for the patient. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. This is a program that was developed knowing that it can be a very stressful and um, hard experience for a patient to come into surgery. Um, this program really sets the patient up from the moment that they decide to have surgery um, all the way through their post-operative period. This helps to bring a multidisciplinary team together to focus on the patient and what is best for them overall. Um, we have found great benefits with our optimization program so far. Um, patients have a better experience. We have seen better outcomes, and we really believe in this program to help set the patient up for success. Another benefit for our higher risk patients is that a care manager will follow them all the way through to ensure that those um, key points are met throughout their continuum of care. And that's really important to make the patient feel comfortable and like we're setting them up for success. Absolutely. That's really our goal in data care. Perfect. Thanks for being with us, Tara, and explaining how we're helping patients get back to living their best life. And thanks so much for joining us to learn about the Theta Care Robotic Surgery Program. We hope you feel empowered to start a conversation with your care team about your health needs. Use my Theta Care to schedule your appointment with a primary care provider. Thanks for watching. At ThetaCare, our mission is to help you live your unique best life. And we wanna know what kind of questions you have when it comes to your healthcare. Leave your questions and comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe so you see the very latest in this series.